basketball championship game tonight featuring the Barron County Trojans against the Allen County Scottsville Patriots. Trojans winning uh, Monday night over Monroe County 54-40, while Allen County Scottsville slipped past Glasgow 51-48. And the championship game on the line tonight. The winner will play a runner-up next week's regional tournament at WKU's Dental Arena, while the runner-up will play a winner of another district of the 13th, 14th, or 16th. And Robert, here we are with a championship game, and the Trojans have two wins this season over Allen County Scottsville. 61-46 here back on December 20th, and then the Trojans won at home January the 24th by a score of 57-45, and both games, both teams shot about the same percentage from the field. Yeah, the, the percentages are almost identical when you look back on those two matchups, but the Trojans were able to play extremely well against the, the Patriots in the first two matchups. We'll have to replicate that if they have a shot to win the 15th district tonight and go in as a winner. Uh, we have been playing really well lately, but uh, I, I think Allen County got the matchup they really wanted in, in, in the first round of the 15th district. They just matched up a lot better with Glasgow. Uh, we wanted Monroe County. We thought we matched up better. Both teams were able to do what they needed to to get to the night. And when, when it's hot out in August and you're running sprints and doing conditioning, this is what you do it for is that 15th district title and the right to, to – play for the fourth region title so first things first tonight we'll try to cut down the nets and go in as a winner trojans have won five straight they've won eight of their last nine their first trip to the regional tournament since 2017 and they'll be looking for their first district championship since 2016 on the other side allen county scottsville with a 15 14 record looking for their first district championship since 2010 and they've won six of their last eight ball games. Uh, that three-point win over Glasgow Tuesday night. The Patriots shot 38% for the field. Mason Shirley took over the ball game in the fourth quarter. He scored 16 of Allen County Scottsville's 21 points in the fourth quarter and finished with 25. He actually scored the last 14 points of that ball game. Jax Cooper added 13 in the game for the Patriots. And in the win over Monroe County on Monday night, it was Aiden Nike with a double-double, 17 points and 12 rebounds. Will Bandy added 12 in the game. Trojans shot 45.2% from the field, but only 3 of 14 behind the arc and only 13 of 22 from the foul line. They'll have to shoot a little better than that tonight. Yeah, and Allen County was able to hit 15 of 17 in their win against Glasgow. So 13 out of 22 is not going to get it done, especially if, if you're going against a sharpshooter like Mason Shirley. The thing about it is, though, if you look at both of the games that we played against Allen County, they were 0 of 8 from 3 in the first matchup. They were 1 of 10 in the second matchup. We need to replicate that again and do not let their sharpshooter, whether that's Stamper, whether that's Cooper, or especially Shirley, get off going quickly and find the hot hand. Yeah, in the two games against the Patriots, Aiden Nyken led the first time with 23, and Will Bandy had 19 in the second game to lead the Trojans in scoring, but Shirley led the scoring for the Patriots in both ball games. He had 12 in the first, 14 in the second. Since the consolidation of Austin Tracy, Heisville, Park City, and Temple Hill High Schools in 1974, Barron County has been in the title game 28 times. Temple Hill won the district 1971, and the Trojans have won the district 14 times, four under Coach Warren Cunningham, and three straight from 2012 to 2014. The last time the Trojans won it, of course, 2016, and went to the regional championship game. The last time they won the district, they went to the regional championship. And since the consolidation of Allen County and Scottsville High Schools in 1974, the Patriots have been in the title game 22 times, winning 11 times. And the last time, as we mentioned, was 2010. But you go back to 1966 when the fourth region was formed. Allen County High won the district two times. Scottsville High's pointers won it three straight years, 72, 73, and 74. And Barron County and Allen County Scottsville have met 10 times in the title game. Barron County has won four of them. The last time was 2013 for the uh, Patriots. The Trojans are in the championship for the first time since 2017 when they finished runner-up to Monroe County and Allen County Scottsville. Runner-up last year to Glasgow losing 61-56. to The Trojans have won the tournament the past four times it's been played here at Allen County Scottsville. 
three of them under Coach Warren Cunningham, who's a former Patriot player. And when Coach Cunningham was a senior in high school, Marin County has been in the championship every year the tournament has been played here. The number one seed has won the tournament ten times since 1999. Number three seed has won it only twice, and Allen County Scottsville is the number three seed. The last time was two years ago when Glasgow defeated number one seed Monroe County. And Barron County has advanced to the regional tournament under Warren Cunningham eight times in his 12 years at Barron County, winning at four. The Patriots have advanced a total of 22 times under several different head coaches. Yeah, these two teams have a, a ton of history, and officially Allen County Scottsville just has one regional title. That one Warren took them to. Barron County obviously one region title. But these two teams are the last two fourth region teams to meet in the final game. That was in 96. Right. Uh, obviously, Scottsville has some when uh, they were led by the great Jim McDaniels, but those don't count after consolidation. That's true. So the Trojans have had a lot of recent success against Allen County, though. They have won 13 out of the last 15 and 20 out of the last 23. So hopefully that's a, a, a streak or a trend, if you will, that we can continue to tonight. This is the Zaxby's pregame report. We'll come back with more from Scottsville, the Trojans, and the Patriots for the 15th District Championship. And you're listening to the 15th District Basketball Tournament presented by Don Franklin Auto Glasgow on 1037 Nash Icon. Aaron County Trojans of the Allen County Scottsville Patriots for the 15th District Championship. Of course, last night the Trojanettes won the 15th District Girls Championship by defeating Glasgow 65 to 48. And they will play Monday night at 745 in the fourth regional tournament at Dental Arena, taking on Warren East. 
for us. All the action begins Sunday afternoon, and we'll have it all right here for you. 1037 Nash Icon and 104.7 The Score. Online at 104thescore.com. And other games going on tonight in District uh, Championship action. 13th at Russellville, Logan County against Franklin Simpson. In the 14th at South Warren, it's Warren Central and Bowling Green. And in the 16th at Russell County, it's Clinton County and Cumberland County. And the schedule brought to you by NHC Healthcare Glasgow, carrying it a better way day by day. We'll come back, take a look at the starting lineups of tonight's championship game of the 15th District Boys Tournament here from Allen County, Scottsville. After this break, always remember if you find a vehicle on DonFranklinAuto.com, Don Franklin will then bring that vehicle to Glasgow and let you experience the Don Franklin difference. This is the 15th District Basketball Tournament presented by Don Franklin Auto Glasgow on 1037 Nash Icon.
Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineups. They are brought to you by SCRTC. Get things started with SCRTC's fast and reliable internet speeds today. Allen County Scottsville Patriots under second-year head coach Brad Bonds. Assistant coaches Brandon DeWitt, Casey Napier, and Jeff Rippey. They'll start Mason Shirley, a 6'1 junior, averaging 16 points and 5.5 and rebounds. Owen Stamper, 6'3 senior, 10 points, 4.5 rebounds. Jax Cooper, 6'4 junior, 12.5 points, 4 rebounds a game. Charlie Calvert, 6'3", senior, 4.6 points and 4 rebounds. And Jake Bowes, the other starter tonight, a 5'8", junior, that averages just 1.4 points a game for the Patriots. Warren Cunningham in his 12th season at Barron County. His assistant coaching staff, Lee Johnson, Matt Gardner, Jared Browning, and Austin Burge. Jacob Shaw, 6'1", 183, senior, averaging 10.3 points a game. Gavin Withrow, 5'8", 148, junior, averaging 5.6. Will Bandy. 6'6", 212. And a senior, averaging 13 points and 6.2 rebounds a game. Also in the lineup for the Trojans, Aiden Nikon, 6'5", 204, sophomore, averaging 16.8 points, 7 rebounds. And Tyler Bush, 6'183", senior, averaging 4 points and 4.3 rebounds for the Trojans. You're listening to a broadcast at 103.7, Nash Icon, WHHT-FM, Cave City, Glasgow. Also at 104.7, The Score, WCDS, Glasgow. And online at 104thescore.com. And the officials for tonight's game are Scott Daniels, Tony Franklin, and David Logston. The official sponsor, Scotty's Contracting and Stone, committed to providing all customers the same level of highest quality, no matter the size of the project. And we'll get set for the Farmers RECC, Jackie Browning Memorial Opening Tip-Off. First quarter of action sponsored by South Central Bank. Small enough to know you, big enough to help. And I think we have probably the largest crowd that we've had all all week here tonight. They say this place holds 2,800, and you've got a few, obviously, the end zone where the bands are and some corner seats, yeah. but other than that, the seats are getting a little bit sparse. I think there will be at least 2,000 here. I haven't seen, haven't looked back up behind yeah. us here in the upper level, but yeah. I'd say that's probably a good estimate. Yes. Well, it ought to be interesting as the Trojans finally get, getting back to Doodle Arena either Tuesday or Wednesday night. The draw will be tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock to find out who will play. Of course, Trojans need to win in order to draw a runner-up from one of the other districts. And uh, But again, uh, Trojans have two wins over the Patriots. 15-point win here back on December the 20th and a 12-point win January 24th at Barron County. Allen County averages 60 points per basketball game. The Trojans held them to 46 and 45, respectively. Only four teams held them to less all year long. And, and their big guns in Shirley and Cooper, who have led them in scoring 20 out of their 29 games, we held them below their average both games. In fact, we held all of their kids below their averages. Owen Stamper didn't play in that matchup. Uh, the second time we that's played them, yep. uh, that's 10 points that were was not on the floor for them. But we did a terrific job defensively. I think defensive uh, effort tonight wins us the basketball game, and I'd like to see a 16 rebound margin like we had when we played him the second time out. Rebounded them 38 to 22. Barron County has made 40 more three-point shots than Allen County Scottsville has this year. As you mentioned, the Patriots averaging 60 points a game. Trojans are averaging 65 and a half, holding their opponents down to 52.6. But uh, Allen County, Scottsville's uh, opponents have outscored them by an average of two and a half. Yeah. We made a combined, what is that, ten three-pointers in our two matchups. Yeah. They made a combined one. So that's a huge difference. Allen County, Scottsville, gray uniforms, red numbers, blue letters, ACS, outlined in red. They don't wear their road uniforms very much on their home floor, but no, since but they're the they, lower that's seed, right. that's what happens. Three seed in the tournament. Beating the number two seed, Glasgow, 51-48, Tuesday night. And the Trojans in white, Bergen County across the front of the jerseys, burgundy and gold numbers and letters. Aiden Nike into the jump circle for Barron County. It's Jax Cooper for Allen County, Scottsville. Barron County moving right to left here in the first half. Allen County, Scottsville coming left to right. Tony Franklin will toss it up, and here we go with this championship game. It's grabbed by Withrow, and the Trojans will set things up. Going to give it to Nike. See what we got up our sleeve for the first play of the game. 
Yeah, Nike gets a double screen out top. He wants to drive to the basket, puts it up. It is good. Nice job using the screen. Patient, let it develop, kind of like a running back in football. The hole just was opened up. Well, Barron County takes the first lead of the basketball game. Here's Calvert with it out top. Gives it on the high post right to Cooper. Cooper hands it off to Shirley. Shirley in the key, dumps it back into Cooper. Eight-footer right side, no good. Crashing aboard is Aiden Nike for the Trojans. Nikon pushing it down the floor right side. Oh, had it knocked away, but with throw there to get it. Bounce pass down inside. Here's Bush. Jump pass back out to Shaw. Shaw, bounce pass over to Withrow. Withrow can't shoot. Cut off by Shirley in the lane. Here's uh, Nikon puts it up. It rims off and rebound to Shirley for Allen County, Scottsville. Can't take for granted. Got to crest the glass. Yep. And Stamper with it outside. Out near midcourt. On the dribble, as they try to set things up, they bounce it over to Bo. Bo getting his first starting position tonight for Coach Brad Bonds here in this championship game. Now Shirley pulls up 15-foot jumper, good. We watched him practice the other night, and he hit almost everything he hit. We can, or he shot, we can't let him get on fire. Yeah. 2-2, 6.40 to play here in the first quarter. Bush with the basketball on the right side for the Trojans. He'll give it out top now to Nikon. Nikon trying to make a move to the right side of the rim. He'll go inside, puts it up, and banked it in. He's, he likes that matchup, as does Warren against Cooper. And it's 4-2, Barron County. Shirley with the basketball for the Patriots. to go into Cooper, goes for the basket, rolls it in. Got screened, and we didn't talk, didn't communicate, couldn't get through it. We actually screened each other. Tied it up at four with 6.13 to play here in the first quarter. Knock it with the basketball for Barron. Trying to make a move inside. And he gets cut off of there, forces up the shot. It rims off. Trying to get his own rebound. It's out of bounds. We're going to say Nikon touched it last. The first couple of shots he took were in the flow of the offense, in the flow of the game. That one was definitely forced, and that's why he didn't get yeah. the foul call. Two minutes gone here in the first quarter. A 4-4 ball game here in this boys' championship game of the 15th district. Stamper gives it to Bo. Over goes to Calvert. Calvert back out to Stamper. Now Stamper on the left side of the floor. Bounces down low in there to Shirley. Shirley against Withrow. Try to backtrack in. And he cuts him off. Throws it back out to Calvert. Puts it in the air for three. No good. Rebound to Bush. Barron County coming back the other way. Tyler Bush taking it down the lane. Shovels it off underneath. And here's a shot blocked on Bandy. He goes to the deck. And coming up with it is Allen County Scottsville's Mason Shirley. He gets cut off. He'll give it out to Cooper. Three in the air. Good. Miss a layup, make a three. That's a tough scenario for the Trojans. That's only the 15th three-point shot made this year by Jax Cooper. And Allen County Scottsville leads it 7-4. to four. With throw straight away over to Shaw. He's covered up by Bow. Left side it comes to Nikon. Now Nikon sends it out top to Bush. He'll give it over the right side to Shaw. Down low is Bandy. Turns and shoots over Calvert. It is no good. Cooper with a rebound. Shirley, long pass down the floor. Stamper pulls up and shoots over Shaw, and he hits it. Hitting him almost everything right now. Nine to four. Allen County, Scottsville. Here's Shaw, left side over to Withrow. Takes his left elbow, whistle, and a foul, and it's going to be on Jax Cooper. His first, first foul of the basketball game. And now Ryan Shirley is going to check into the Trojan lineup. 6-1 sophomore will come in for Will Bandy. Also in for Allen County Scottsville is number 24, Tyler Ford, a 6-2 junior. Comes out to Nikon. He'll give it to Shirley. Ryan Shirley in the corner. Shaw pulls the trigger for three. No way short. Trying to get his own rebound, and he stepped on the end line. Rest the shot a little bit. Didn't have good posture on it. Was kind of falling out of bounds to begin with. So Allen County Scottsville ball leading 9-4 to four with 4.35 to play here in the opening quarter. Mason Shirley guarded by Gavin with throw. Brings it in the front court for the Patriots. Right side it goes to Cooper. Now Cooper looking. Hasn't put down the dribble. Now does. He'll send it out now to Calvert. Swings it over to Stamper. Stamper bounce pass over to Shirley on the left wing. Now Shirley wants to drive against with throw. Bad, uh, shot up no good. Ball hits the floor. Picked up out of there by Nikon. On the fallaway shot missed by Shirley. Here's Nikon driving, going to the basket strong and puts it in. That was a tough coast to coast, but again, it was a coast to coast under control. Nine to eight, Patriots by one. Stamper with a basketball long range right, gives it down to the corner to Ford, and out it comes to Cooper. He'll send it out to Calvert, top of the oh, circle, won't. swings it. Yep, left side it comes to Stamper. Stamper floats it down into Shirley, and a pass underneath, and put up and in by Calvert. Trying to post up Gavin underneath is what they've decided to do. 
And it's 11 to 6, Allen County, Scottsville. 335 to play here in the first quarter. With throw with it on the right side. He's cut off by Shirley. Gonna have to do something with it. Goes in the corner to Bush. He tries to go baseline. Goes inside to Ryan Shirley. Has a shot blocked going up and a foul called on the Patriots. Foul is gonna be charged to Mason Shirley. And that's his first, team second. So Ryan Shirley at the line. Free throw is on the way, and it's good. Ryan Shirley for the Trojans and Mason Shirley for Allen County Scottsville are first cousins. If you didn't know that, a little tidbit information there. Ryan brings a little bit of toughness off the bench. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to have on our defensive end. Absolutely. Second shot for Ryan Shirley. Good. Get some points off out of him. That's a little added bonus. Yep. 11 to 8 the score. Cody Lane to the ball game for the Trojans now. And he's guarding Mason Shirley. As Cooper has it right side, he gives it out to Ford. Ford now out to Shirley. Shirley against Cody Lane. Goes right side over to Cooper. Launches a three. It's good. We got hit a screen behind and, and again didn't help out. 14-8. Nikon in traffic. Puts it up. It's no good. Rebound claimed today by Cooper for ACS. He'll give it off to Shirley. Shirley passes deflected up in the air by Lane and caught by Nikon. But taken away from him by Shirley. And here's a three. No good. Rebound taken by Nikon. Allen pass up to Bandy. Bandy driving strong to the bucket. Puts it up. He missed it. Follow up. Good for Lane. Bandy's taken two shots and gotten knocked down on both of them. No foul calls. They're not rewarding the big fellow at all for uh -oh. taking the contact. 14-10. Allen County Scottsville with a four-point lead. Straight away goes to Cooper. Left side over to Smith, who's in the ballgame now. That's Michael Smith, 6'2", junior. They go down low in there, and they try to get around Bandy. He goes up, blocked it from behind. Ball tapped around. Shirley's got it. A little pump fake. Goes up with a shot. No. Rebound in there by Allen County Scottsville. Back up again. No good. Bandy with a rebound for the Trojans. Letting them play for sure, aren't they? Get rid of the basketball to Nike. Down it goes to Ryan Shirley with a spin move. Kicks it back out to Bandy. He's going to fire it up for three in the air. Yeah! It's a great kick out. Ryan was in a little bit of trouble, but Bandy trailing the play. That's his favorite look at three. 14-13 on a People's Bank three-point shot for Will Bandy. Trims the lead to one. Stamper with a basketball for Allen County Scottsville against Ryan Shirley. Picks up his dribble. Needs some help. And finally gets rid of it over to Smith on the left elbow. Smith now will come out with a dribble. Hands it off to Mason Shirley. Now Mason Shirley works to the right side. He'll give it back out to Stamper. Stamper right by Ryan Shirley. Trying to work with him out front. Now gets... It off now to Ford. Ford bounce pass off to Shirley. Right elbow extended. Now he wants to make a move. Pump fake. Puts up the jumper over lane. It's good. Pretty good defense. And he did a good job staying on his feet, not making contact on the ball fake. 16-13, Allen County, Scottsville. As Shaw brings it across the line for the Trojans. Stops top of the key. Let's it fly for three. Looked like maybe a foul there, but no call. Not Shaw may have. got missed. Here comes Stamper with it for ACS. Crossover dribble. And gives it over to Shirley. Shirley now dumps it down inside there to Smith. And he double dribbled. I don't know if they're going to call it or not. Yeah. but I don't know what's up. We still haven't been to the free throw line, right? Uh, That's right. Neither team actually been to the yeah, free throw no, line. No. But we're taking it inside a lot more yeah. than Allen County right yeah. now. And not getting rewarded with the foul. And Warren letting the officiating crew know about it. Tay Pointer in the ball game for Barron County, six foot sophomore. And in for Allen County, Scottsville, Trace McIntyre, six foot junior. Shaw against the 2 3 Allen yep. County, Scottsville zone. Started Shaw man switch zone. Sends it over to Pointer on the right way. Now Pointer brings it back out against Cooper. He gets it down to the corner to Nikon. Nikon scissors his way in, puts it up and in. Taking a lot of contact, and even though they went zone, still able to find a seam. Eight points for Aiden Nikon, 16-15. Trojans down by one with 15 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Mason Shirley with it for Allen County Scottsville against Mason Griggs, who's just checked in. They gave it over to Stamper. Stamper now dribbles. Going to have to try to do something with it. And it's almost knocked away. Comes in the back court. Ball goes out of bounds. Barron County's ball with 1.3. Last touch by Mason Shirley. We got Mason Nikon. Griggs had a lot to do with that. Absolutely. That was a defensive pressure by Griggs that kind of deflected it out off of Shirley. We got time for one dribble and a shot 
it'd be better if we had something going towards our basket. There's a turnover, Mason! And Mason Griggs will toss it in here at midcourt. As he looks, he looks, he gets it into Bandy. He's going to have to throw up a long three that hit the rim from out toward the Allen Kelly Scottsville bench. That's the end of the first quarter. It's the Patriots 16, the Trojans 15. We'll come back for the second quarter after this break. This is the 15th District Basketball Tournament presented by Don Franklin Auto Glasgow on 1037 Nash Icon. It is the second quarter presented by Southern States Glasgow Co-op. Patriots 16, Trojans 15. Here's Calvert with the basketball, swings it down the corner to Smith. And it comes to McIntyre over to Stamper. And now they give it in there to Mason Shirley. Working in there against Mason Griggs. And the shot is good from 10 feet away. 18-15, Patriots by three. Shaw with the basketball for Barron. 2-3 zone by ACS. Pointer back out to Shaw. Sends it right side to Nikon. Back out to Shaw. Shaw's going to lob it down to Nikon. Puts it up. Missed it, but he's fouled. The alley-oop pass. Got up high to grab it. And the foul is going to be on 23. That's Michael Smith, his first team's third. First free throws of the ball game. We weren't very good the other night from the free throw line, so we got to cash in tonight. First one is no good for Nikon. 13 of 22 specifically. A Nikon 59.3% foul shooter. Gavin Withrow returning to the Trojan lineup for Jacob Shaw. One more for Aiden Nikon. And it's in the air, and it is no good. Rebound to Cooper. Not going to win you close games. Our team percentage is up around 70. Yeah. Cooper down to the corner, going up, and a ball out of bounds. His last touch by McIntyre, couldn't hand on to it. He went for the back door, and Cooper threw it where he was, not where he was going. But Gavin Withrow playing the point right now for the Trojans. Allen County, Scottsville staying in the 2-3 zone. Pointer with it on the right side. Pointer brings it back out front, gives it to Withrow. Left side, it comes to Griggs. Now Griggs, bounce pass back out to Withrow. Try to penetrate, can't go. Bounce pass back to Griggs. He's trying to penetrate. Gets it over to Pointer on the right side. Pointer moves in with a one-hand shot. No good. Follow-up is good for Griggs for the left-hand side. The whole left side was dedicated to that uh, defense, and sometimes when you play zone, it's tough to block out and find who's flying in like Griggs was. Allen County, Scottsville with a one-point lead, 18-17. Shirley, and, and Griggs reaches in, and they finally going to call a jump ball, possession arrow. Going to the Trojans. Little hand fighting afterwards. Shirley, earlier in the game, had a little elbow shove, and we kind of retaliated a couple possessions later and didn't get a technical for it, but we kind of got a scolding. Yep. Withrow handles the basketball. Now gives it out to Griggs. Griggs working left side. Bounces off in the left corner to Pointer. He can't shoot. Calvert out to defend him. Now Griggs brings it back out between the circles. Back to the left side, Pointer. Cross court pass, right side with throw. Going to let it go for three. Go! They're a really long zone. So that's a good skip pass to get an open three. The Trojans have taken a 20 to 18 lead of Rowland County, Scottsville. Mason Shirley against Mason Griggs. Pull up jumper from 12. It's no good. Rebound to Withrow for the Trojans. Good defense. 
Long pass down the floor. Bandy will pump fake. Goes up. Got it and a foul. Trying to get covered on the back side. Nope. Actually got the front side. Put it on Whitney. Whitney, I believe, is who they yeah, called it on. That's right. Yeah. That is uh, his first and the team's fourth. And if the basket was good, they finally put it up there. It's 22 to 18 Trojans at a timeout. People's Bank timeout. What's a little fascinating is the foul count's 4 nothing. We have not committed a foul in this basketball yeah. game, and you know that it's kind of like the stock market correction. That correction is going to come. At some point, we're going to get a barrage of foul calls, whether it's just a one-hand guard like Mason Griggs is doing on Shirley. Just be, just, just be ready for it. It's yeah. going to come. Right. 22 to 18, Barron County leads it by four. 5.53 to play here in the first half. Championship game of the boys' 15th district here in Scottsville tonight. The draw will be tomorrow morning to determine who plays who in the fourth region tournament starting Tuesday night for the boys. The girls start Sunday afternoon, and we'll have all the broadcast of every tournament game here on Nash Icon 103.7. It's Bandy at the line with a chance to make an old-fashioned three-point play, shooting at 71.4% on the season. And here's his free throw. It's up. It is good. And Barron has their largest lead at five at 23 to 18. 5.50 left in the first half. Stamper with a basketball for the Patriots. Brings it across against Jacob Shaw. They get rid of it over to Smith on the left side. Smith back out to Stamper. And now Stamper. And well, we got a whistle away from the basketball. Told you. Yeah. Right there, wasn't much of anything, but they're going to have to start making up that differential. Gavin Withrow his first and the team's first. Ball comes out to Stamper, gives to Cooper. Cooper's already nailed a couple of threes. He only had 14 coming into the game. And here's a foul, forced up shot. It's going to be on Mason Griggs. Warren was making sure in the quarter break that his guys stayed on their feet with the ball fakes. Griggs tempted, tempted. There were three or four ball fakes by Shirley, and he finally went for the last one and got the foul. Free throw is good for Shirley. Overall, a good job, though, yeah. by Mason in that little stretch he was in there. That's what we have a huge advantage. We have about three or four guys, Gavin, Tyler, Mason, uh, that we can throw in there at Shirley. Yeah. Shirley puts this one up and in. He's shooting at just over 80% from the foul line on the season. 23-20, Barron County. As we're down at 5.25 to play in the first half, Jacob Shaw with the basketball for Barron. Sends it left side to Withrow. And now Withrow wants to curl out top. He'll give it over to Bush. And now Shaw with it long range right. Shaw back out to Withrow. Left side it goes to Bush. Bush trying to make a move. Now has to throw it back out to Shaw. Swings it right side over to Withrow. Dumps it down in there to Bandy. Bandy now looking. Guarded out there by Ford. They go inside to Bush. Now Bush turning. Trying to force things up. Going to have to get it out of there. Throws it back out to Shaw. Now Shaw sends it out to Bush. Bush trying to make a move to the key. He'll give it back over to Shaw on the left wing. They've gone man. Yep, they've changed it. They go down in the corner. Bush will fire, and it bounces off the rim. Shirley with a rebound. Bounce pass left side. Here's a layup that is no good but a foul. Come on, Come on Ralph. You the way you got there. Foul is on Jacob Shaw. That is his first, team's third. And that's going to put uh, Michael Smith at the free throw line, a 66% foul shooter on the season for two shots. Wasn't much of a foul, but again, when you rake down and the officials right. behind, they don't have much of a choice but to call it. Smith hits the first of two. He'll have one more. Ryan Shirley checking back into the Trojan lineup for Will Bandy. 23-21. Trojans with a two-point lead, led by five. Here's the shot. It's up. It's no good. Nyken claims the rebound. Now here comes Jacob Shaw. Into the front court. Man-to-man -man defense by Allen County Scottsville. Withrow, right side, bounces down low. There's Nyken breaking free and put it in. Edward Jones financial advisor, Jamie Harris assists. Let Jamie Harris of Edward Jones assist you today with your financial planning. 25-21, Trojans by four. Patriots with the basketball as Ford sends it down the corner to Stamper. They feed it now. Here's Shirley. Low pump fake. Goes up with a shot. No good. Rebound. Put back up and in by Ford. Good effort on Shirley. Not a good effort on the board. 
25-23. Barron by two. Nikon with it on the left side, out top to Withrow. Goes back left side to Nikon, wanting the screen there. And now he'll pull up with a jumper from 17, no. And offensive rebound by Tyler Bush. He's in a trap, and oh, they're gonna call him for a traveling violation. How do you call him for a traveling violation if somebody else had the basketball? But we, we got in a bad position. A bad position right there because he was deep in the corner trapped and really didn't have anywhere to go. 3.37 to play here in the first half. Patriots basketball. Trojans leading 25-23. As Stamper will bring it across the midcourt line. Stamper. Bounce pass over to Bo. Now Bo bounces in there to Mason Shirley. Dumps it down in there to Cooper. Spin move. Puts it up. It's no good. Crashing the board. Tyler Bush going to the floor. We got a whistle. And what do we got? How's he going to call a walk? Traveling violation. This, guy, this official out front is just swallowing his whistle. He's not calling anything tonight when he had the clear view that Jax Cooper was able to basically tackle it. Shirley will toss it in as they work it in there to Stamper. Back out to Shirley, long range right. He'll give it back out front now to Bo. Now Bo. Sends over the left side to Steve Walk. Yep, he sure did. He's done that two or three times, and he's now calling it. Three oh two left to play in the first half. Barron County up two. And Shaw gets for the basketball to Nikon. On the left wing, out top to Withrow. Works inside the lane, puts it up, it's no good. Rebound in there by Stamper. Whistle and a foul on Tyler Bush. That'll be his first and the team's fourth. And Will Bandy returning to the Trojan lineup. Tay Pointer also coming back in for Coach Warren Cunningham with 2.50 to play here in the first half. Mason Shirley with a basketball for the Patriots. Left side over to Bo. Smith gives to Shirley. Out top to Stamper, left side to Bo. And it comes to Shirley, three in the air, no good. Up high for the rebound, Aiden Nikon. Racing down the floor, gives it off in the corner. Porter with a three, go! Good job, Aiden. Sucked everybody in the middle of the lane, and Tay knew where he was going, spotted up, ready to shoot it. People's Bank three for Tay Porter gives the Trojans a five-point lead once again at 28-23. Mason Shirley with the basketball, trying to make a move on Withrow, trying to penetrate, spins, pump fake, jump pass back out to Bo. Bo guarded out there by uh, Jacob Shaw. And now Shirley trying to work it to the right side, gives to Stamper, they dump it in there to Cooper. Cooper puts it up, it is no good. Bandy had the rebound, lost it, got it back though, feeds it off to Porter. Porter cross court pass over to Shaw. Now Shaw bounces down low to Nikon. Nikon got with her wide open out here. Had it smacked out of his hands with a foul called on the Patriots. It'll be two shots. Foul is on Cooper, his second, team's fifth. Aiden Nikon back at the line. 0 for 2 his last trip. 135 left to play here in the first half. Barron County 28, Allen County, Scottsville 23. Free throw good this time for Aiden Nikon. He's got 11. 29-23, Trojans lead is six. As Cody Lane is back on the floor now for Barron County. Coming in for Allen County, Scottsville is Wyatt Coffey, a 6'5 sophomore. He did not play in the game against Glasgow. I don't remember him playing much in either lineup against us either. Yeah. Nikon. Barron County with a seven point lead. It's 30 to 23. Got to keep this trend going into the break. Stamper with it for ACS. Gives to Calvin to the right side. Out it comes around the perimeter. It is Bo in the corner to Stamper. Gives it out to Shirley. Three in the air. Bottom. Making a living off that curl cut. Shirley with 11 points. It's 30 to 26. Barron County with a four-point lead, 108 to play in the first half. Bandy gives it back out to Nikon. And now Nikon 
Getting a screen here on the left side by Shaw. Cuts back right. And then Nyken pulls up with a 10-foot jumper. It's off the front of the iron. Gets his own rebound. Trying to go back up with it. No good, but a foul. Foul is on 14. That's Calvert, his first. Six on the Patriots here in the first half. And Aiden Nyken at the charity strike. Gets two more shots. First one on the way, too strong. Gavin Withrow back in the Trojan lineup for Cody Lane. 51.3 seconds to play before halftime. Barron with a four point lead. Nikon puts it up, it is no good again. Bandy has the rebound, puts it back up, no good. Battle for the rebound. Bandy's got it back, but he stepped on the inline. Allen County Scottsville's basketball with 45.8. Jax Cooper comes in for Jake Bowe for the Patriots. As the ball comes into Mason Shirley, 43 seconds to play here in the second quarter. Mason Shirley gets it over the timeline against Gavin Withrow. Right side it goes to Calvert. Calvert sends it out to Stamper. Stamper knocking on him. Cooper with it, long range right. Cooper. Ooh, that was almost a dangerous pass there, but they got away with it. Now the corner, they give it to Coffey. Back out now to Shirley with 19 seconds to play. He'll bring it out near midcourt. And Withrow trying to reach in to poke it away when he was looking over at the bench. Left side, it comes to Calvert. Now Calvert looking, gets it back out to Shirley. Shirley trying to make a move. Long distance three, way off the mark. Pandy with a rebound as they reach in to tie it up. And that'll do it for the first half. So at halftime, it is Barron County 30, Allen County, Scottsville 26. We'll come back to the Colton Steakhouse and Grill halftime report in a moment. Always remember, if you find a vehicle on DonFranklinAuto.com, Don Franklin then bring that vehicle to Glasgow and let you experience the Don Franklin difference. This is the 15th District Basketball Tournament presented by Don Franklin Auto Glasgow on 1037 Nash Icon.
Trojans 30, Patriots 26 here in this boys' 15th district championship game at the break. Welcome to the Colton Steakhouse and Grill halftime report. Colton's thanks you for your business. Colton Steakhouse and Grill, we know what's at stake. Allen County Scottsville in the first half, 10 of 22 from the field, 45 and a half percent. They were three of seven behind the arc. Three of four from the free throw line. They had 12 rebounds in the first half, only two on the offensive end. They turned the ball over five times. Mason Shirley leading the way in scoring for Allen County Scottsville. He's got 11 points off four of 11 from the field, one of three from behind the arc, and two for two from the charity stripe. Jax Cooper with eight points. They came in the first quarter when he knocked down a couple of three-point shots. Two for Owen Stamper, Charlie Calvert with two, Michael Smith has one, Tyler Ford with two points in the first half for the Patriots. Trojans were 11 of 24 from the field in the first half for 45.8%, three-tenths of a percent more than the uh, Patriots, three of five from behind the arc, five of nine from the free throw line, 16 rebounds, four more than the Patriots, five of those on the offensive end. They turned the ball over two times in the first half. Aiden Nykin with 12 points to lead the Trojans in scoring, five of nine from the field. He was two of six, though, from the charity strike. He did have six rebounds in the first half. Gavin Withrow with a three-point bucket. Will Bandy with six on a three, a two, and a one. Two points for Mason Griggs. Cody Lane with two. Tay Pointer knocked down a three-point shot. And Ryan, Ryan Shirley with a couple of free throws in the first half. Patriots led 16-15 to 15 at the end of one. Trojans come back in the second. Outscore the Patriots 15-10. to 10. And it's a four-point lead here at the break, 32-26. Pretty good half. That three-pointer surely made it a much more respectable game. We had our largest lead at seven until he hit that one right there to send them into the break. Between Shirley and uh, Cooper, they've got 19 of their 26. So uh, it looked like it was kind of a tell of two quarters. Yeah. Uh, when you, you look at it, Cooper was more in the first quarter and Shirley a little bit more in the second. So uh, we're, we're doing everything we can defensively. We're throwing a lot of guys at him. And, uh, you know, Mason Shirley's a, a pretty good player. I mean, he's, he's obviously uh, led them this year and, and willed them to a victory. Uh, in the first round to get him here tonight, so you know he's not going to let them go very quietly. They already tonight have more threes in the first half than they did both of the previous games combined. So uh, they're looking to shoot. Cooper is not somebody that normally does. He found the opening and can, and just kind of got them off to a hot start. We were playing catch up pretty much all the first half. They also changed their game plan on Nikon after we saw we were going to go to him pretty hard and hot and heavy. They kind of there was a one and two times out there they had three guys guarding him because he was going in and they were just handing them off to somebody else so be interested to see also how the game is called in the second half if, if the game stays a physical game and they let them play um, it, it could be a, it could be a tight game if we're able to get to the free throw line and make those that's where we can create some separation yeah on the Coca-Cola scoreboard, uh, we had a score from the 18th district out of Region 5 here a second ago, and it is Green County ahead of Hart County at halftime, 36 to 16. And we've got the other districts going on tonight in championships, Russellville, uh, Logan County, and Franklin Simpson. That game won't start till 7, which it is uh, just 6.36. Warren Central Bowling Green should have started at 6 o'clock, and uh, Clinton County, Cumberland County, the 16th, doesn't start till 7, so we won't have those finals until uh, later tonight. Uh, looking at the brackets for the girls' fourth region tournament to, uh, starting Sunday afternoon at Western Kentucky University's EA Dental Arena. 2 o'clock Sunday, Russell County, the winner of District 16 against the 15th district runner-up, Blasco, followed by Bowling Green, the 14th winners, against the 13th runner-up, Russellville. Logan County out of District 13, the champions, against runner-up 16, Metcalf County. And then the Trojanettes, the winner of District 15, against the runner-up of District 14, Warren East. And um, the games uh, Sunday, Russell County, Glasgow. Our broadcast will start at 1.30, then followed by Bowling Green and Russellville. Monday night, Logan County, Metcalf at 6. We'll be out of here at 5.30 on Monday night with Barron County and Warren East in the nightcap. And then the uh, semifinals are on Friday 
at 6 and 7.45. The championship on Saturday night, next Saturday night, 7 o'clock. And all the action right here on Nash Icon 103.7, 104.7 a score, and 104thescore.com. And it's the same first-round matchups as last year, with the exception of Warren East taking South Warren's place. Same first-round matchups as last year. That's kind of crazy. And, and uh, Warren East is a very formidable opponent. You saw what happened down there. Uh, but the girls got the best draw they could probably ask for. Yeah. All right, we'll come back for the second half as the Trojans lead the Patriots 30-26 to here in the 15th District Boys Championship game. This has been the Colton Steakhouse and Grill Halftime Report, and we looked at the Coca-Cola scoreboard. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. Open a Coke and enjoy the game. And you're following the 15th District Basketball Tournament. Brought to you by Don Franklin Auto Glasgow on 1037 Nash Icon. Third quarter presented by Southern States Glasgow Co-op. As the Trojans have a 30-26 lead over the Allen County Scottsville Patriots. And on the Coca-Cola scoreboard after one period of play in the 14th District Boys Championship, Bowling Green and Warren Central tied at 11. After we get a stop here, if the Trojans put first things first, they need to go right back to Aiden Nyken. Jax Cooper with those two fouls, we can get him in a little bit more foul trouble. Yep. It'll be Allen County Scottsville's basketball to start the third quarter. The ball comes in to Mason Shirley. Patriots moving from right to left here in the second half. Shirley getting the screen out top. Goes right side with it. Wants to drive. Spin move. Goes up with an eight-footer. Good. They're going to keep attacking Gavin and get him in a low post situation where Shirley can post him up. 13 for Shirley. Lead is two for Barron County now, 30-28. to 28. Withrow with it. Works into the paint. Bounce pass down into Nyken. Nyken double team. Puts it up and in. Wasn't really an easy entry pass, but got it to him in a position to score. 14 for Nyken. Back up to four for the Trojans at 32 to 28. Shirley wanted to shoot that three, got Withrow off his feet. Now gives it over the right side now to Calvert. Out top it comes to Cooper, defended by Bush. And now Cooper backs away the dribble, hands it off out to Stamper. Stamper now putting down the dribble, gives it over to Jake Bow. Oh, bounce pass, right elbow, Shirley turns toward the basket against Withrow. Now dumps it down inside there, puts it up, it's no good for Cooper. Rebounded there by Nyken, ripping it away for the Trojans. Brings it in front court on the right side, behind the back dribble, throws it out to Mandy, straight away with a three. Bingo! Most his threes have been kind of a lead behind for the trailer. That's not a play, but we should run that a little bit more often. Now the Trojans with a seven-point lead, 35-28. Shirley forces up the shot and going to get a foul called 
On Barron County, it's on Gavin with Rowe. He forced the official to call it as he went through Gavin on the way up for the shot. And that's going to be two on Gavin Withrow. Mason Shirley at the line for two shots. First one in there. 35-29, Barron County, 6.41 to play in the third. As Tyler Ford checks back into the Patriot lineup. Mason Shirley puts it in the air and it rims off. Rebound to Aiden Nikon. He'll give it to Gavin Withrow. And now he'll float it over to Shaw on the left side out front. Shaw goes left side, goes halfway to the corner. Now looks and turns. He'll throw it back out to Nikon. Nikon trying to make a move into the paint. Cut off, triple team, gives him a corner to Bandit. Goes baseline, goes up for the snow. He threw it back in the left corner. Three seconds in the lane. I don't know on who, but Bandy's got to go up and score that. I, and I thought I, that's what he was going to do there, was take it up the baseline and put up the jumper, but uh, decided to pass it off. But either Bush or Nike was in the lane too long. 35-29, Trojans. Stamper gets with the basketball to Calvert. Left side it comes to Ford. He'll give it back out to Stamper. Stamper, oh, he threw it away. Ah. But there was Shirley there in the baseline to chase it down. Shirley can't shoot. He'll give it out to Cooper. Cooper out now to Ford. Ford top of the circle, right side over to Calvert. Deep on the right is Cooper. Cooper, here's the lob down into Shirley. Posted down there against Withrow. Turns, pump fake, puts up the shot of the baseline. No good. Nikin with a rebound for the Trojans. Nikin racing down the right side. He'll go for the shot. It is no good, but a foul called on Calvert. Rolled right over the rim. Actually, he put it on four. His first and the first foul of the second half against the Patriots. Oh, they weren't going to give him the shot anyway. I thought they would have counted it the way he motioned That's it in. That's what I thought. Yeah. So Shaw will have to take it out on the right baseline. Shaw looking, looking in the corner. Pandy going to put up a 17-foot jumper. Good! Tough shot. Mason Shirley hit him right across the elbow, too. Yeah. 11 points for Will Pandy, and the lead is eight. Trojans have their largest lead of the ball game, 37 to 29. Here's Cooper out to Shirley. Now Shirley, jump shot, long three, good. Come out, Allen. That's his second three of the ball game, and he's got 17 points. Cuts the Trojan lead to five at 37 to 32. Timeout by the Patriots. They shot 22 shots in the first half. Mason Shirley took 11 of them. If they take 22 shots here again in the second half, I bet he takes 16 of them. He's going to win the game or lose the game for Allen County. We give him any type of separation at all, he's going to pull up and try to score the basketball. Stay tuned. At the conclusion of the ball game, we'll have the selections of the all-seasonal team, the all-tournament team, and the all-academic team, just like we had last night for the girls. Elizabeth Bertram named the MVP of the 15th District Girls Tournament from Barron County. All right. They've got Trace McIntyre back in the game for Allen County, Scottsville. He's going to guard Aiden Nyken. Now you Double screen out top. In the corner, Shaw pulls the trigger for three. Yes! Well, you can find an open corner there for Jacob Shaw to get going now. Back up to eight for the Trojans at 40-32. to 32. Stamper with a basketball for ACS. Right side it goes to McIntyre. McIntyre sends it out to Smith. Smith, right side of the circle. Left side it comes to Calvert. Hooks it down in there. Whistle. Ooh, foul on Jacob Shaw. It's going to be his second. Barron County's second of the half. Allen County, Scottsville ball. Mason Shirley will toss it in. He's going to lob it. Picked off by Nikon. Nikon, he's going to race to the bucket. He's going to lay it in. <laughs> hey, that's a for I sure it was a good, a good idea. It was a good idea to lay it in. Jax Cooper was right there on him. He was Knocked away again by Nikon. He tried to save it in pounds and almost came over the scorer's table here. Slid right across the scorer's yeah. table like he was sliding into second base. Right. Good effort, just couldn't save it inbounds. More importantly, he's all right. Though. Yep. Trojans with a 10-point lead, 42-32. to 32. 
the score clock might not be all right. It got Sprite all over it. So yeah, a little it bit of uh, liquid on getting into the yeah, official timeout here to clean that up. Hopefully it doesn't fizzle out before we yeah, can get play it, get another. Get into the wiring and burn some wires up. <laughs> so... 425 to play here in the third quarter. Barron County with their largest lead of the ball game at 42 to 32. Not sure that towel will clean up Sprite that well. It almost needs to be uh, moistened. But uh, anyway, here we go. Stamper with the basketball for the Patriots. Now he looks, sends it over to, to McIntyre. McIntyre out to Cooper. Swings it left side over to, to uh, Smith. Now Smith on the dribble, working to the left side. Here's the lob, and it's going to be knocked down by Bush. Out of bounds, off the Patriots. Tyler came off ball to help, got a hand on it, and inadvertently threw it off a Patriots foot. 4.07 to play, third quarter, Barron County 42, Allen County, Scottsville 32. Chance to extend our largest lead here on this possession. And now Withrow working against Shirley. He'll give it over to Shaw. Left side to Bush. Bush dribbles out. Now heads to, into the key. Goes across the key. Bounce pass down into Nikon. Triple team. Puts it up. Got it. And a foul. That's raw strength right there. He had somebody on his left side, somebody on his right side, and somebody behind him. And he just muscled through all three of them. Foul is on McIntyre. His first team second. And now it's a 12-point Barron County lead and Nikon at the line where he's two of five tonight. Trying to cash in on this free throw and he missed it. Rebound comes off to Stamper. Still our largest lead. Need to compound some stops and not let him get back in it here as the third quarter runs down. Here's Cooper with it on the right side. Cooper dribbles left, trying to backtrack into Bush. He'll give it over to Bo, or rather McIntyre. And now here's Stamper with it, out to Cooper. Cooper getting the screen from Shirley, dribbles against Bush, spin move, goes over Bush, it's no good. And it tapped right underneath to Stamper, and he laid it in. Bandy and Nikon both had it in their hands, and they just knocked it out of each other. 44-34. Has Withrow, curls into the lane, gives it off underneath. There's Bush putting it up, he missed the shot. Rebound, Bandy, trying to pump fake, puts it up, and in. Tyler short-armed it, but Bandy was there to clean it up. Cooper on the other end, and a collision. Oh, a blocking foul going to be on Tyler Bush. Be his third, right? Is that right? I've got him for two, okay. but I may have missed one somewhere. Okay, you're right, you're right. Ryan Shirley, Mason Griggs will check back in for the Trojans for Gavin Withrow and Tyler Bush. Getting a much-deserved break as Barron County leads it by 12, 46 to 34 with 3.03 left to play in the third quarter. The ball comes out to Ford. He'll give it over to Shirley. Got Griggs guarding him now. Three-pointer right side. No good. Over the backboard out of bounds. Those two that just came out, Bush and Withrow, gave terrific defensive effort. Yeah. The two that replaced them, Shirley and Griggs, have to match it. Mm -hmm. Jacob Shaw, he's hoping out there, but doesn't take it. Yeah, they didn't know who or what was going to match up there. Yeah. That stamp around guarding Shaw. Left side, it comes to Ryan Shirley. Out top to Griggs, over to Shaw. He's going to fire it up for a three. Yes! They need space to load up, and when he has that space and time, he's pretty good. Two people's bank threes for Jacob Shaw. Pushes the lead out to 15 for the Trojans at 49-34. Knocked away by Nikon. And out of bounds. Thought it went off Stamper. It did. Yep, sure did. Aiden deflected it somehow. Back off of Stamper. Aiden's gapping them, shooting the passing lanes really well right now. Allen County needs another timeout. 2.24 to play. Third quarter. Barron County 49. Allen County, Scottsville 34. As we take a People's Bank timeout, the People's Bank in Glasgow, your local community bank, working for you. Fourth Region Girls Tournament starts Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock at Biddle Arena. We'll have all the action of every tournament game throughout the week, both girls and boys here on Nash Icon 103.7. Online at 104thescore.com and 104.7 The Score FM. 1.30 our broadcast time Sunday afternoon. And the first game, Russell County against Glasgow, followed by Bowling Green against Russellville. Trojanettes will play in the second game on Monday night against Warren East. First game will have Logan County and Metcalf County. 
Well, the Trojans have outscored the Patriots here in this third quarter, 19 to eight. Had a four point lead at the break, 30 to 26. Barron County's basketball, Jacob Shaw. Bounce pass over to Griggs on the left side. Griggs trying to get the screen from Ryan Shirley. Bounce pass down there, knocking triple teamed again. Puts it up, it's no good. Trying to get his own rebound, got a whistle and a foul. And who'd they put it on? On Mason Griggs. Yeah. And I believe, is that his third? It should be, yeah. Okay. He was only one, really one of the only ones in foul trouble right. at the break. Teams fourth. And Stamper brings it across the line against Aiden Nyken on the right-hand side of the floor. And now Shirley has to go chase it down, but luckily Ford for Allen County Scottsville there. Got to have a reach on Jacob Shaw. That's his third. Teams fifth of the second half. We're going to get Gavin and leave Griggs. I'm sorry, we're going to get Shaw. Gavin's coming in to get Shaw, leave Griggs. So that allows Gavin to play off ball and leave Griggs on uh, Shirley just a little while longer. Nice. Left corner, Cooper against Bandy, drives toward the paint. Now goes up in traffic, whistle and a foul. Shirley couldn't get his hands up in time to go straight up and defend. Will Bandy, that's going to be his first. Barron County sixth of the second half. Late, uh, the uh, Patriots only have two. Jax Cooper at the line, two shots, the first one in and out. It's a 63% foul shooter. He has not scored since the first quarter when he knocked down a couple of trays and a two-point basket. 154 left in the third. Barron County with a 15-point lead, 49-34. And Cooper puts this one in the air, and he got that one. 49-35, Barron County. Withrow will work against Mason Shirley. Bounce pass right over to Nyken. And now he had it slapped away. Shirley came up with a basketball. And they're going to say it went off Nyken out of bounds. So it's going to be Allen County Scottsville's basketball. Stamper goes right side with it over to Calvert. And down in the corner is Shirley. Hooks it. Oh, he threw it away. Oh, he just threw a bullet pass cross court. And Bandy went for the steal on Calvert, which left Calvert wide open, and uh, Shirley was trying to get it back to him, but yeah. Calvert didn't want it. Bowling Green leads Warren Central 35-33. Three and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Withrow needs some help. He'll give it off to Nyken in front of the Barron County bench. He's trapped, gives it back to Withrow, pulls up with a 15-foot jumper, bounces off the rim. Shirley pulls down the rebound for Allen County, Scottsville. Up ahead it goes to Cooper, crashes into Withrow, offensive foul. Great job. We were in a one-man-down situation there in a two-on-one break for Allen County. The only way out of it, Gavin taking that charge. May have hit his head on the, on the floor there. And a foul on Cooper, that's his third. Patriots third. Barron County's basketball, Ryan Shirley back on the court now for the Trojans. With Mason Griggs and Gavin Withrow, Tyler Bush and Aiden Nyken. It's been a long third quarter. Yeah. And there's a backdoor pass coming to Griggs. He goes over the shot and rolls in. I don't know how that pass made it through. It was four Allen County hands, and then he threaded the needle to get it to go in. 51-35, Trojans by 16. 52 seconds to play in the third quarter. They give it out to Cooper against Nyken. Left side, it comes to Stamper. Stamper walked again. Here's Shirley, top of the key, and almost lost the handle. He double dribbled. Then trying to force things, he gives it down to the Cooper. Slapped away from behind by Nyken and out of bounds. We got a foul on the other side. The underneath official said out of bounds. The side official said foul on Aiden Cooper to the line. Yeah, that's the first foul on Aiden Nyken. Seven on the Trojans in the second half. And Cooper at the line. The shot is good. This third quarter has taken, took longer yeah. than the whole first half combined. The Trojans already committed seven fouls. Allen County in the bonus the whole rest of the game. Right. And the second shot of the way. Good again for Cooper. 
He's hit three in a row. 51-37. Trojans, 36.4 left in the third. Gavin Withrow bringing it up for the Trojans. He'll work against Jake Bowe. Over goes to Griggs. Sends it straight away back out to Withrow. Withrow back to Griggs on the near side out front. Started out there closely by Calvert. He'll give it back to Withrow. Now being chased by Bo. Trying to split the defenders and a foul. And it's on Bo, and that is his first and the team's fourth. Barron County's basketball with 13.4 to play here in the third quarter. And Griggs will toss it in here on the near side. As he looks for Withrow, has to force it out there to him. 12 seconds left, trying to get around Bo. Bo riding him over there. And there's Griggs for a three. Go! Line drive right through the rim in the corner. 54-37. And time runs out. They didn't even look for a shot. Didn't know. Trojans up by 17, heading into the fourth quarter. It's Barron County, 54. Allen County, Scottsville, 37. Trojans outscored the Patriots 24-11 to in the third period. This is the 15th District Basketball Tournament presented by Don Franklin Auto Glasgow on 1037 Nash Icon. This fourth quarter brought to you by South Central Bank. Small enough to know you, big enough to help. Mason Griggs working against Mason Shirley and calling for palming the basketball. Trojans with a big third quarter outscoring the Patriots 24-11 to to take a 17-point lead. We continue the synergy in the fourth quarter we had in the third. We're bound to win this one. And Jax Cooper handles the basketball for the Patriots. Leaves it out there with Stamper. Got Ryan Shirley guarding him. Right elbows Cooper. Cooper looking for Shirley. Trying to come off the curl and how he'll look and had it swatted away from behind. And as knocked down again, loose pile on the floor and picked up by Shirley. Gives it back out to Cooper. Back to Shirley out of the corner for three. It is no good, but he's fouled by Ryan Shirley. Complete scramble. And Shirley out of position to defend Shirley. First foul on Ryan Shirley. That's eight on the Trojans. Here in the second half. And Ryan Shirley at the line. A shot goes up, it's short. I think there are a couple avenues for the Patriots to get back in this game. And one of those avenues is if we continue to put them at the free throw line with the clock stop. Second shot is on the way. No good. He'll have one more. Now he's missed his last three in a row. Those are not misses he normally has. Will Bandy back in the ball game along with Jacob Shaw for the Trojans. So all the starters back in. Shot by Shirley, missed it. Wow, rebound to Bandy. Maybe you're better off putting him at the free throw line than letting him shoot a three. Uh, yeah. He's missed four in a row now, shooting at over 80% on the season. Comes out to Withrow. He's guarded by Mason Shirley. Working right side. Looked like a foul there, but no whistle. Comes out now to Bush. Bush trying to find an opening. Works it across. He'll give it over to Shaw. Left wing three. No, missed it badly. Shirley, long baseball pass down the floor. Going underneath the layup. It is good for Bo. Forced a three and gave him a layup. Too many times tonight we've missed a shot. They've made a shot. Got to get back down the floor and match up. 
54-39, Barron County with his 15-point lead. And Nyken, bounce pass over to Bush. Gives it back to Nyken, 17-footer right side, way off the mark. And here comes Mason Shirley with it for the Patriots. Pulls up, throws it off the left corner. Cooper for three, good. He's been silent almost since the first quarter. Trojans need a 30. That cuts the lead to 12 at 54-42. 6.32 to go in the basketball game as the Patriots have scored the first five points of the fourth quarter on a three and a two. Shirley 0 for three at the line though. Rare misses for uh, Mason Shirley to miss four in a row. After we outscored them 24 to 11 in the third quarter, our fourth quarter offense hasn't looked very much like it did in the first three periods. 15, 15 to 24 is a pretty good offensive output. There have been several games this year we haven't even scored 54 in the whole game. Yeah. Trojans hit uh, three threes in the first half. We got four in the second half. Total of seven. Allen County Scottsville has hit five threes in the basketball game. You know they're going to turn up the defensive pressure. We got to handle it. Only two turnovers in the first half. Got to limit it here. The rest of the way. Here's Nikon working off a double screen right. He's going to drive. He's cut off and puts up the shot and banked it in for about six feet away. I don't know who else they can throw at him, but they haven't been successful stopping Aiden. 20 points for Aiden Nikon. 56 42. Here's a pass down into Shirley. He'll throw it up. No good. Rebound to Bandy. Gives it to Withrow. Sends it over to Shaw. Shaw, now double teamed at midcourt. Throws it back over to Withrow. Withrow pulls up, 10-foot jumper, no good. Rebounded there by Bush, throws it back up and in. Wow, very lucky there. That's a tough shot, 58-42. Tyler Bush's first two points tonight. 5.47 to play here in the basketball game. Here's Mason Shirley with it deep on the left side. Going to fire it up out of that corner for three, and he knocks it down. Nothing else Gavin can do. Just stay with him and make sure he doesn't get a good look. He's had to earn everything here in the second half. 58-45, Trojans with a 13-point lead. As Withrow sends the ball over the left side to Nyken. Trying to work. Oh, pass deflected. Loose ball, and Bush down on the floor. Gets rid of it off to Withrow. Withrow in trouble. Calls a timeout. Five nineteen to go in the basketball game. Allen County, a little extracurricular yeah. after they almost hip checked Gavin all the way into the bench. They got a trap around him, but it wasn't because they were legally guarding it. Maybe a little illegal hip checking and pushing yeah. to get him in the trap, but Warren had to call a timeout to save the possession. A wise one. That is our second. We have three remaining. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be a oh, uh, that third quarter what lasted 30 minutes. This fourth quarter may seem like it's going to last an hour. Uh, it's far, far, far from over. 13 up are the Trojans. Allen County already in the bonus. Final from the 18th district tonight in the boys' action. And Green County beat Hart County 57 or 67 to 56. One thing we're not going to be able to do is if we get in a tough situation. We're allowing the officials to bail us out. I don't think they're going to have a very loose no. whistle. It's, it's gonna, right, they will have a loose whistle. It's not going to be called very right. tight. There's Bush giving it out to Nyken. Nyken guarded out there closely by Cooper. He'll give it over the right side to Shaw. Guarded out there by McIntyre. Now they work with it outside. And here's Withrow coming around the screen right. He's double teamed. Gives it off to Bush. Hooks it down to Nyken. Works it into the paint. Goes up with a shot. It's no good. Follows his own and puts it in. Literally through for two Patriots. And it's 60 to 45 as Shirley gets with the basketball down inside of Stamper. Turns and fires. No good, but a foul. The two shots for Stamper. They give it on Will Bandy, his second. That's nine fouls on the Trojans here in the second half. We have to quit fouling now especially in the act of shooting. 14th District Boys Championship. Bowling Green leads Warren Central 50-43 to with 4-12 left in the ball game. Those two teams, I saw some crazy stat. Those two teams have been in the final, like, I don't know, every year except one for yeah, the last 15 like, years. At least, at, uh, I think it's like something more like 18. Free throw, no good for Stamper. Stamper's a 65.3% foul shooter. And Allen County Scottsville has missed their last five free throws. 
And this shot's missed, and Bandy with a rebound. Wow. 4.38 to play. After they only missed two out of 17 against Glasgow, not yeah. so much tonight. Bandy on the left side. Fires it down in there to knock it in a crowd. Goes up, had a shot blocked on him, and out of bounds. It'll stay with the Trojans. And Jacob Shaw will toss it in, right side of the bucket. Shaw looking, still looking, sends it out front to Bush. Now Bush goes left side with a bandy. Bandy brings it out to Withrow. Withrow working around to the right side, gives to Bush, back out to Withrow. Getting a lot of pressure, high pass, jump pass over to Bush. They go inside there to Nikon. Nikon spin move, goes up with a shot, he's fouled. They called it on Cooper, I believe, right? And that's his fourth. Yes, it's your Team's game. fifth of the second half. Our staff's always really good about identifying who they have in foul trouble and going at him the next possession. Let's see if they leave Cooper, we go at him next possession. Aiden Nikon misses the free throw. He's only two of seven tonight from the foul line. Not very good. 60 to 45, Trojans with 4-10 to play. And Nikon back up with a strike for one more. Puts this one in the air, and it comes wow. off the rim. Might have been a free throw shooting clinic by any means. Nope. Mason Shirley with the basketball, guarded by Nikon. He goes right side with a Cooper. He fakes. He drives against Cody Lane. Forces up the shot. Too strong. Rebound, Jacob Shaw. Let's see if we go at Cooper here. They didn't get him out. They tried, but didn't. And he's trapped. Going to have to do something with it. Gives it to Bush. They're looking to trap. Works it down the right side. Curls toward the lane. Now gives it back out to Shaw. Now Shaw gives it back to Bush. They come out to defend him. Cody Lane, right side with a Shaw. Shaw wants to drive. He's going to be fouled by McIntyre. That's his second. That's only the sixth team foul of the second half against the Patriots. We're down to 338 to play. Withrow will toss it in. Looking, lobs it into Shaw in the lane, dribbles it back out, getting pressure from Cooper. Bounce pass off to Nikon. Nikon makes it, goes to the basket, and he's fouled. It's going to be on Mason Shirley. And on Shirley, that will be his second, team seventh. Aiden Nikon going to the charity strike for two shots. First one is up. It's spinning in there. Aiden Nikon was two of five the first half. He's one of four here in the second half, so that's three of nine from the foul line. He's got one more coming. It's on the way, and he got that one too. 62 to 45 Trojans. We're down to 3.30 to play in the ball game. This championship of the 15th district. Shirley driving, spinning, whistle. The hands hit, put two hands yeah. on him to keep him from spinning down the middle of the lane. You gotta defend without putting the hands on him. That's his second. Team's tenth. Mason Shirley, who's missed four in a row now for the charity strike. And he got that one. Nothing but net. Bowling Green's up 51-47, just a few minutes left. 21 for Mason Shirley tonight. 62 to 46. Shirley back up with the line. His shot goes up, and it comes off the rim. Rebound to Jacob Shaw. Bounce pass up to Griggs. He's in a trap uh -oh. at midcourt, and a foul call. Got lucky. Gave it to Griggs in a terrible position. Right across the half-court strike. And it'll be one and one for Mason Griggs. The foul was on Jake Bowe, his second. Mason Griggs has scored seven points tonight for Coach Warren Cunningham. Free throw on the way, no good on the front end of the one and one. Patriots back the other way. Mason Shirley gives it over to Cooper. Cooper wants to drive down the lane, throws it up and in. Got to have a little bit more resistance than that. 62 to 48. Pass comes out to Bush, gets it across the line. 
Now needs some help out there. Has it knocked Pick loose it and picked up by Shirley. He'll give it off to Cooper. He'll drive to the bucket, lays it up and in. You got to pick it up and get it to a guard there. And now it's 62 to 50. 12 point lead for the Trojans. Shaw gets it across. Looping pass down to Griggs. Turns toward Kissick back up to Withrow. Now Withrow will give it to Shaw. Shaw trying to get around Cooper. Gives it over to Griggs. Griggs on the right side and a blocking foul on Cooper, and that's going to be it. That'll be it for Jax Cooper. 18 points tonight for Cooper. Fouls out with 2.34 left to play in the ball game. And the Trojans up by 12. Mason Griggs will go back to the free throw line where he missed the front end of a one and one a moment ago. Brad Bonds will bring in Tyler Ford to replace Jax Cooper. Mason Griggs, one in the bonus. And here's the shot. It's on the way. He got it. Sixty-three fifty. Barron County, 234 left in this championship game. Griggs puts it in the air. Got it. Get Cody Lane in here for Griggs and throw another fresh body at Shirley. And it's 64 to 50. The ball comes into Shirley. Shirley works it on the left side, pulls up and shoots a three. It's good. Well, he can't hit free throws, but he can make threes. And that one was with Aiden Nyken in his face. Yeah, and that was from about 22 feet away. It was a joke earlier, but the way he's shooting it, you're better off just to foul him. And we got nobody in foul trouble and put him on the line and make him earn it because he's better from the three-point line with defense than he is from the free throw line standing nobody in front of him. 24 points for Mason Shirley at 64-53. That's the closest the Patriots have been in quite a while. 11-point lead now for the Trojans. They led by 17 at the end of the third. 227 is an eternity, too. Yeah, that's the way this game's been going. Especially with the bonus, double bonus both ways. It seems like, I don't know, they, when they started pressing us, we didn't really get an organized press offense. We tried to dribble through the pressure a whole lot, and we became disorganized on our offensive end once we were able to beat it. And we haven't been able to score very efficiently. That's what allowed Allen County to catch up. So we've got to get back together. We've got to communicate and beat this press and then get back into some type of set on the offensive end. And it'll be Withrow to toss it in. And he gets it into Nyken. Nyken gets it back to Withrow. They're being chased in the backcourt. Double team floats it up to Shaw on the left side. Shaw now reversing, looking, looking. Hands it off out there to Bandy. He'll give it back to Withrow. He's being chased. Withrow back over to Shaw. Now Shaw in a trap. He'll give it to Withrow. Fires it down to Bush. Back out to Withrow. Withrow, they reach around on him. There's a reach-in foul now on Calvert. Took about 30 seconds off the clock, but it doesn't matter if you don't hit free throws. That is true. Second foul on Charlie Calvert. That's nine on the Patriots in the second half. Gavin Withrow at the line. 65% shooter on the season. He hit a three back in the second quarter, and his free throw shot is no good. As the Trojans in the double bonus, Trojans uh, are four of eight from the foul line here in the fourth quarter. Some of those front ends. Yeah. And here's the shot, and it is going to come off the rim. And got it kind of got tangled up, Ford and Nyken. Not and sure which way they're going to go with it, but Aiden had the basketball, so we'll see if the Trojans keep it. They're going to say Aiden with the foul. He said red 24. Didn't he? He said he whistled in white 24. But then he said gray 24 when, when Warren was asking him about it. So white 24 is the shooter. The foul is on gray okay. 24. That's Ford. And that was the right call. It should have been on Ford. Right. 
So Nyken is at the line for two shots. And the first of two, too strong. My word. Barron County now four of nine from the foul line here in the fourth quarter. Again, we're a 70% team yeah. on the year. But not tonight. Nyken can't get it to go. Oh. Shirley with a rebound. Shirley pushing it down the floor. Just under two minutes to play. Three in the air. He bounces in. Got got on the, the, the back of the rim and fell in. And it's 64-56. Shaw with the basketball is going to be fouled. And it'll be on Ford, his third. Well, Shaw has not been to the line tonight. Remember, and he's the best free throw shooter on the team at 84%. Let's we'll see if he can break this trend. Remember, Mason Shirley scored the last 14 to beat Glasgow on Tuesday night. He's trying to do the same thing tonight. Yeah, he scored 10 of their 18 here in the fourth quarter. Shot good for Shaw. Get it back to a 10-point game with this one. Gives you a little bit more cushion. Still 145 is a ton, ton, ton yeah. of time. Jax Cooper fouled out for Allen County Scottsville a little bit ago. The 234 mark. Second shot for Shaw. Good. Warren will use his third timeout. It'll be a full one. Full timeout. We'll take a People's Bank timeout. People's Bank of Glasgow, your local community bank working for you. Minute 47 to play in this 15th District Boys Championship game. And the Trojans have a 10-point lead, 66-56. Their largest lead has been 17. And our inability to make free throws and Allen County's three-point shooting, specifically Mason Turley, has been able to continue to make it a game. An interesting one at that. We knew, uh, or at least I did, when, when they were able to pull out that 17-point lead, Allen County wasn't going to roll over and just hand us a 15th yeah. district trophy. Patriots have hit four threes here in the fourth quarter, but they've only hit one free throw out of seven in the fourth quarter. One out of seven. They're a 70% free throw shooting team, too. Yeah. Both teams pretty pretty even, almost. Both teams almost 70%. So uh, it's kind of an anomaly that neither team has been able to, to score very well from the strike. Trojans are 6 of 12 from the foul line here in the fourth quarter. Not good, but hanging on to a 10-point yeah. lead as we were able to knock down those two from Jacob Shaw. And Stamper will toss it in. Barron County with some pressure all over the floor. Comes into Shirley. Got Tyler Bush now guarding Mason Shirley. Splits the defenders. Got a fire for three over Bush. No good, but a foul. Well, and Bush don't think he even touched him. Let's try our theory then. If he's better from the strike than he is from the three-point line with a hand in his face. We'll yeah. see. Well, stops the clock with a minute 41. Not a smart foul any way you look at it, even though we're kind of joking about that too. Shot goes up, and it's good. 66-57. And Shirley for the second of three. And it's good. A yeah, three possession game still, no matter what he does here. 66-58. And the third free throw shot of the way. Got it. And now it's just a seven-point lead. 66-59. Withrow in the backcourt being chased. Needs some help. Jump pass to midcourt to Nyken. Nyken over to Bush on the left side. Bounces it back out to Withrow. He'll give it to Shaw. And now Shaw will go into the circle. He'll give it back to Withrow. Withrow lobs it back to Shaw. Now Shaw trying to get out of the trap. Gonna have to do something with it. Floats it back over to Withrow. Floats it back out to Shaw, almost to midcourt. Trying to get through the defense here. And there's a foul on Shirley. And finally floated it back to who we wanted to have the ball and shoot free throws after he stepped up and made the two. Surely very mad at his teammates that they ended up having to foul him. A lot of time ran off the clock, about 30 more seconds. Yeah. Well, Shaw's at the line. And he's got two more. First one, no, it popped out. Oh, me. Still 113 to play. If this is our way of making it interesting, I'm not for it. Jacob Shaw back of the stripe. This free throw is up. It's good. Puts it back up. 
to an eight-point lead. Yeah. And they haven't put it up on the board yet. 67-59 is what it's supposed to be. Here's a three by Stamper. Got it. He's the second-best three-point shooter on their team. He actually shoots it uh, better than everybody else he, at 39%. That's his 26th one of the year. And hanging in there, keeping it close. If they get the score right here, we'll see. That's 67 to 62 now with a minute three to go. That's right, isn't it? 67 yes. 62? Yeah. Okay. Patriots have scored 25 in the fourth quarter. Barron County has scored 13. Only three field goals in the fourth quarter. Well. I mean, I understand the strategy running time off the clock, but we just kind of piddled around with it enough that they've been able to foul us and we've missed enough free throws instead of just staying in our offense, uh, getting those field goals that they've been able to make, we've been able to miss. And here we are, a five-point game, just over a minute to go. It will be our basketball, but we've got to do something with it. Bowling Green wins their seventh straight District 14 tournament title, 57-51 over Warren Central. So Bowling Green will go in as a winner. Warren Central is a runner-up. The other two games are probably about halftime right now. We don't have scores on those, yeah. though. And the Patriots will set up with full court pressure with a minute three to play. Barron up by five, led by as many as 17. And here's Tyler Bush to toss it in, running the baseline, gets it into Shaw. Shaw turns up court with it. Almost gets it to half court and then lobs it back over to Bush. He'll give it to Bandy. Boy, he was falling out of bounds with it. He's in a trap and a foul on Shirley. And that's going to be four on Mason Shirley with 52.5 to play. Only, a, what, 10 seconds ran off that time. Will Bandy, 71.5% foul shooter on the season. Going to get two free throws here. Need to extend this lead. And the first of two is on the way. It's good. Opportunity to get it back to a three-possession game. I think that's extremely critical. 68-62 Trojans. Bandy puts it in the air. Got it. Now cover up that three-point line. 69-62. 50 seconds to play. Shirley trying to force up the three-pointer. It's no good. Vaughn is going to be knocked out of bounds, and the Patriots will get it back. That's probably the right call. Bandy was going over top, but we got to grab it. 43.2 to play. And Shirley will toss it in. Left of the rim, and he's looking, still looking. Gets it in the corner to Bo. Back in the corner to Shirley. Dumps it back to Bo. Shovel pass underneath. The shot put up. Good, and a foul. That's going to put Smith at the free throw line. Well, he's one of two tonight. That cuts it to 69-64 with 38.3 seconds to play. Foul on Will Bandy, his third. That foul was just a tap foul. That's about as much energy as this official has shown tonight. Wow. And Smith at the line. Shot goes up, and it is good. And it's a four-point ball game. 69-65. Comes into Withrow. Gives it to Shaw. Shaw trying to get it up court. Floats it down to Bush. Bush is going to be fouled. And it'll put Tyler Bush at the free throw line. And it'll be charged to number 11. That is Owen Stamper, his first. So now Tyler Bush, who's a 57% foul shooter on the year, with 32 seconds to play. First one, no good. They'll have one more. Still a two-possession game. This one's up, and then it's all over the rim, and it goes down. I don't know how that bounced in. That was the thinliest of rolls. 70 to 65, 30 seconds to go. Shirley pulls up long, three in the air. No good. Rebound to Nikon. He'll give it off to Bush, and Bush is going to be fouled as two Patriots collide at midcourt. Depends on who it's on. Shirley would be five. And Shirley is down, and he is hurt. And his left knee looks like. They just he's collided. He's to get away, but I, you know, he's probably okay. Shirley and Stamper collided going for the ball that was lifted over top of them to, to Tyler Bush. 
both of them just a little, probably a little uh, shaken up. I suppose they, by rule, they both have to come out, which would mean they would have to call a timeout yeah. to get him back in the game. Tyler Bush going back to the charity stripe with 23.4 to go. And it'll be two shots. Shot goes up, no good. He'll get one more. Twenty-three point four. Barron County seventy. Allen County Scottsville sixty-five. As Smith checks back in for the Patriots, and Bush at the line. Shot goes up, and he missed it. And Cody Lane tried to get the rebound, but he. And he was he pushed out of bounds. He was Cody. pushed out of bounds. And the foul on Smith, his second, will put Cody Lane at the charity strike. Cody Lane inserted in there for defensive purposes only was just used his speed to get around Smith. Two shots for Cody Lane. First one is up. It's no good. 0 of 3. Let's see if we can at least get a point as certainly gets back in the basketball game. Limping a little bit. He came in for uh, Ford. 22 seconds to play, and it's Lane at the line. Second shot is in the air, and he got that one. Take two threes now to tie it up. 71-65, Trojans knocked away by Lane as they try to go to Shirley with it. Everybody's back except for Lane, who's going to make it difficult on Shirley to catch the basketball. And 22.6, the clock did not move. <laughs> Stamper to toss it in. Gets it into Shirley. Shirley now works around. He's gonna put up the three-point shot. It is in and out. And the rebound underneath Patriots. Here's a three by Bo. It's no good. Rebound by Shirley. Back up with a foul. No, went on the line. Out of bounds. How about they gonna call a foul the way he pointed? That's right. Shot got blocked. 8.4 to play. Nikon blocked. It out of bounds. I think that was Stamper on the shot, wasn't it? Yeah. Shirley to toss it in. Comes in the corner. Stamper for a three. No good. Battle for the rebound. And out of bounds back to the Patriots with four seconds left. Make sure we don't foul here. Just need to grab the basketball. If it's available, defend. If it's not. Shirley gets it inbound. Shirley back in the corner. Fires up the three. It's no good. Gets his own rebound. The Trojans have won the 15th district championship. Didn't make it easy. Allen County, a valiant effort to try to come back from 17 down, but great for the Trojans to be back on top of this district after two years not making it to this game. They seized the opportunity with a six-point victory. And for the past four times it's been in Allen County, Scottsville, the Trojans have won the district championship. Hopefully we'll be able to make it back to the region championship game like we did last time that was here as well. Yep. Final score, Barron County 71, Allen County, Scottsville 65. Trojans go to 23 and 8. Allen County, Scottsville at 15 and 15, heading to the fourth regional tournament next week at Dental Arena. We'll come back with a post-game report brought to you by CPC Commodities, the trophy presentations, and more as you're following the 15th District Tournament presented by Don Franklin Auto Glasgow on 1037 Nash Icon.